while the internet was buzzing with headlines claiming Tesla's new battery had just made every EV obsolete, a quiet revolution was actually unfolding in the world's most competitive industry. But the real story isn't about Tesla crushing its competition. It's about how misinformation spreads faster than innovation itself, and what that means for America's position in the global electric vehicle race. Let's start with what actually happened. Tesla didn't announce some miraculous aluminum ion super battery that charges in 15 minutes and lasts 70 years. That's pure fiction. What Tesla actually achieved is far more subtle, yet genuinely significant. The company made a breakthrough in something called cathode doping, a material science advancement that addresses one of the most persistent problems plaguing electric vehicle adoption, battery degradation over time. Here's what the data actually shows. Tesla's new doped cathode technology reduces battery capacity loss from 20% down to just 5% over the same time frame. That's a four-fold improvement in battery longevity. While older Tesla batteries retained about 83% of their charge capacity after extended cycling, the new doped cathodes maintain 91%. This isn't science fiction. It's documented in Tesla's own patent application, US 2403837770A1, titled, Doped Cathode Active Materials and Methods Thereof. The practical impact for consumers is real. Tesla can now recommend charging their high-performance batteries to 90% instead of the current 80% limit, essentially bridging the convenience gap between their premium models and their more user-friendly standard range vehicles. Tesla's VP of Vehicle Engineering, Lars Moravi, described it as making their high-performance batteries almost as user-friendly as their standard range counterparts, but without any of the drawbacks. But here's where the story gets interesting for American competitiveness. While Tesla was making legitimate incremental improvements, Chinese manufacturers were quietly revolutionizing battery economics. KTL and BYD have driven lithium iron phosphate battery costs down to approximately $58 per kilowatt hour, compared to Tesla's current costs ranging from $89 to $120 per kilowatt hour, depending on the chemistry. That's not just a price difference, it's a strategic disadvantage that threatens America's position in the global EV supply chain. The numbers are stark. China controls 85% of global lithium-ion battery manufacturing capacity and 90% of critical material processing. Tesla's 4680 battery program, despite achieving the milestone of producing its 100 millionth cell by September 2024, still faces significant challenges. Reports indicate Tesla is considering halting 4680 production at their Texas Gigafactory due to unsatisfactory energy density, charging performance, and costs that remain roughly twice those of Chinese competitors. Tesla's manufacturing struggles reveal deeper issues. The company reportedly experiences 70 to 80 percent cathode loss during trial production of their 4680 cells, compared to less than 2 percent for traditional manufacturers. The dry electrode technology that Elon Musk promised would revolutionize battery costs back in 2020 remains unmastered after four years of development. These aren't minor hiccups, they're fundamental manufacturing challenges that highlight the complexity of scaling advanced battery technology. Meanwhile, the competition isn't standing still. Toyota claims their solid-state batteries will achieve over 500 watt-hours per kilogram energy density, nearly double Tesla's 46 and 80 cells at 260 to 280 watt-hours per kilogram. Toyota's timeline suggests commercial availability by 2027 to 2028, with potential ranges exceeding 750 miles. Samsung has demonstrated solid-state prototypes exceeding 600 miles of range, with 10-minute charging to 80% capacity. But there's a catch that reveals the broader strategic picture. These solid-state batteries currently cost between $300 and $500 per kilowatt-hour to produce compared to Tesla's $89 per kilowatt hour for conventional lithium ion technology. Manufacturing scalability remains unproven despite decades of development investment. This cost barrier creates an opening, but only if American manufacturers can move quickly and decisively. For the United States, this represents both a challenge and an opportunity. The Biden administration has initiated $17.8 billion in strategic mineral security programs to develop alternative supply chains, but these require years to achieve meaningful scale. Tesla's supply chain remains globally integrated, with reported sourcing of electrode materials from Chinese manufacturers, 
even for their advanced 4680 production. This interdependence contradicts narratives of American technological independence and reveals how deeply integrated the global battery ecosystem has become. The misinformation surrounding Tesla's battery advances serves as a case study in how hype can obscure genuine strategic challenges. YouTube videos and speculative articles claiming Tesla developed aluminum ion batteries with impossible specifications, like 5,000 watt hours per kilogram energy density and 70 year lifespans, gained millions of views, while serious analysis of actual developments remained buried in technical publications. These claims lack any verification from credible sources patent documentation, or peer-reviewed research. They represent engagement-driven content designed to generate clicks rather than inform the public about real technological developments. The broader EV battery industry demonstrates remarkable diversity that challenges simplistic narratives about any single company dominating the field. KTL's Keelan battery achieves 10-minute charging and over 1,000 kilometers of range. BYD's blade battery technology offers superior cost-effectiveness and safety for mass-market vehicles. Battery chemistry diversification is accelerating, with sodium ion, lithium sulfur, and advanced lithium iron phosphate variants entering commercial production across multiple manufacturers. This technological pluralism actually benefits American consumers and reduces industry dependence on any single breakthrough or manufacturer. Tesla's innovations occur within a rapidly advancing industry where multiple manufacturers achieve comparable or superior specifications in various metrics. The company's confirmed advances position it competitively within the evolving landscape but don't fundamentally obsolete existing alternatives. What does this mean for American economic competitiveness? Tesla produced approximately 200 million 46 and 80 cells annually as of 2025, sufficient for roughly 140,000 vehicles. That represents a small fraction of global EV production, which exceeded 10 million vehicles in 2024. The company continues sourcing batteries from Panasonic, LG Energy Solution, CATL, and BYD, indicating ongoing dependence on external suppliers, many of them foreign. The geopolitical implications extend beyond simple market competition. Battery technology represents the foundation of multiple critical industries, from electric vehicles to grid storage to consumer electronics. America's position in these sectors depends not just on having innovative companies like Tesla, but on maintaining competitive manufacturing capabilities, securing reliable supply chains, and fostering an environment where multiple companies can thrive and compete. Tesla's genuine battery advances, particularly the cathode doping breakthrough and scaled 4680 production, demonstrate American innovation capabilities. The fourfold reduction in battery degradation addresses real consumer concerns and provides competitive advantages. Achieving cost leadership in 4680 production shows Tesla's manufacturing potential. But these successes occur within a global industry where Chinese manufacturers maintain substantial cost advantages and supply chain control. The challenge for America isn't whether Tesla will continue innovating. The company's track record suggests it will. The challenge is whether the United States can build a comprehensive battery ecosystem that reduces dependence on foreign supply chains while maintaining technological leadership across multiple battery chemistries and applications. This requires sustained investment in manufacturing, materials science, and supply chain development beyond what any single company can achieve alone. Rather than celebrating premature victories or succumbing to alarmist narratives, America needs a clear-eyed assessment of its position in the global battery race. Tesla's advances represent important progress, but they don't solve the broader strategic challenges facing American competitiveness in this critical technology sector. So here's the real question facing America. Can the United States build a battery ecosystem that combines Tesla's innovation with the manufacturing scale of Chinese competitors and the technological diversity of the global industry? The answer will determine not just who makes the best electric vehicle batteries, but who controls the energy infrastructure of the 21st century. What do you think? Is America's current approach sufficient to meet this challenge? Or does the country need a more comprehensive strategy to secure its position in the battery-powered future?